welcome to Pretty Tarot Talk Time with Tara. And today, uh, it's late in the evening, halfway tonight, <laughs> I'm going to be doing my cloth pad stash. I've gotten a few requests to do an updated cloth pad stash, and I really have all the pads I will ever have. I'm sure I'll get more in the future. But, I mean, the only pads I'm getting is a pad from Grin for my birthday, or something like that. Some pads for my birthday. Possibly. I don't know. For sure, of course. But that's what we're thinking we're going to get each other. And then, if I win this reading contest we're having, uh, then I also get a pad, because whoever reads my pages gets a free pad from the person. So, I'm really hoping I'll win, uh, but, you know, we'll see. I'm reading like crazy. Anyways, so, if you noticed, yes, it is the evening, but the lighting, of course, is not perfect because it's not daytime, but it's a lot better. Ah, it's not like a yellow light. It's actually, like, a white light. Isn't that awesome, guys? Like, I thought it was not amazing, but this is this is really good. This is awesome. Um, my dad and, like, installed a new light. It's like an instant LED light. I think that's what I said it was. But it's like white. It's not like um, yellow. So yeah, it's about 10, 15 at night. So let's get through this. <laughs> it's going to take a while. But um, we can do this. Alright, so let's start with panel lanterns. And I'm doing these as what they were classified as, not as what I use them as. Because um, I use some of these as like lights. But shall we? Okay. So I have a 7-inch precious pad, um, two little, like, beginner pads, I just liner something for myself, um, a liner from Lumpreys, an actual first edition, like, this is, no, sorry, not first edition, actual current pitch I've had on your for the 6-inch bamboo Blue Top Liner, 8-inch Mama Jules Gems Cotton Top Liner, I, like, 7 inches, 8 inches is a little long for panel lines. 8 inch wingless, some of this, some of that, that liner. Um, 7 inch flannel topped, peel backed, eco sewer liner. 6 inch, um, first edition's pure chair pad. Um, this is actually my style now for pure chair pads, but, um, I don't make anything with this material. It's just an old, like, material that I really wanted in the pad. Um, and then this wingless. Period of terrified. Uh, six six and a half inches, maybe it's seven inches. I think it's more like six and a half inches. Um, one that Brin made, not any particular style, just a first. Um, seven inch first edition, coreless um, liner. I don't make coreless ones anymore. I could though, it's requested. Pretty have pants liner, it's a mini liner. An eight inch on your flow bamboo top liner. Okay. Light pads. Okay, so we have a seven-inch um, mini pads by Ippy Serma, and a the first cloth menstrual pad that I ever made. I think it's like eight inches, yeah, seven inches. Ten-inch light float from Mama's Pride. Did I say I said ten inches, didn't I? Eight-inch. Sweet cloth topped, double sided Winco backed light pad, of course. Uh, from Lady's Creek Boutique. Um, 8 inch light pad. I'm gonna stop saying light pad because they're all light pads. Cotton topped pad from our braids. 8 inch cotton topped curly bits pad. Um, fluffy Little Pickles 9 inch light pad. Oh, this is really cool. And then this 8 inch. Um, light flow pad. <laughs> Sorry, it's a first habit, guys. Uh, bird style pad from Fantail Feathers. Love this print. It's amazingly beautiful. Then this uh, eight inch pad, flannel topped, and like a jersey back. Bring me. Um, it's no particular style again. It's just one of the first ones she made, and it's really really comfortable. So I like them a lot. And another eight inch light flow cotton topped. Winpro Fleece Backed Sleeping Doe Pad in this amazingly beautiful print, which I'm obsessed with. 8 inch butterfly cloth pad. Really like this pad. Reviews coming up on this, like, the next video I make should probably be this, but it may not be, but it should be. It's coming up. Um, 8 inch uh, pad from Rump Race, cotton topped, good quality fleece back. And then this two piece creations cotton top pad, and then this flannel top to peel back, um, blossom parties, or what does she call them? 
Eco Fam pad. A eight inch cross cycle cotton door topped compact. Love it. Then this other Eco Sewer eight inch pad. Oh, that's very solid. And then this other pad that Bryn made using my old um, pattern for pure tri pads. Doesn't look anything like them, just because, you know, she sewed it differently, of course. And uh, I really like this one. It's very comfy, floppy. It has like a theme of cotton in the core. It's very nice. And then this pad that I made. It's just like a straight cut. See if I like straight cuts. I found I didn't. So. But I do like this actually. It's not bad. I just don't love it. It's not my favorite. Okay. And then my modern packs. This is from Nat Time Nicole. I think it's nine inches. Yep, it's nine inches. Uh, surprisingly, it looks very different, okay? But I like this a lot. I had an extra set of snaps. That's two snaps. So, I like that. It's nice. Then this nine inch flannel topped and peel back pad from Lucky For You. It's kind of like Eco Sewer. Then my seven and a half inch um, novel red cotton top to make a place back to pad in a Van Gogh print. Like her is irises, and I, I really want to get one of her straight um, style cut pads because it's a little too flared for me. But um, her prices are, are a little high for me, so maybe I really want to get another one. They're so comfortable, like well, amazing. Rainbow's Grace cloth pad shop. E, I love to say that. Uh, flannel topped pad and a fleece back. I think it's anti pillow fleece. Adorable print. Love that. And then this Mama Jules Gem 7 inch motor cloth pad. And this 7 inch? 8 inch? 8 inch. 8 inch uh, flannel top peel backed eco fam, we're going to say for now. If it's not right, then I'll put something down below. Uh, moderate pod. And then this cute and simple pad, flannel top, flannel backed, really cute. I love this print, like how adorable is that little apple? So it really is coming up with this as well. Then my 10 inch alt flow, um, very wide, but I love it. Um, because it has flannel and peel on it, it's very warm. So I don't wear this in the summer, it's a winter pad. Um, and I don't bleed at night, so, you know. I know I could wear this in the day, but it's very big, so it's kind of one of those pads I put on the evening, you know? Uh, nine inch, or nine and a half inch, um, pad that Brynn made for me, this is the style. I don't know if she's ever going to sell, but if she does, this is probably the style she's going to sell. I really like that. And this eight inch tear pads, sweet cloth topped, really nice, ooh, these back, love that, one is going to give away. Two snap fitting. Um, another giveaway pad. Faith of Beta Chains, absolutely adore this pad. It's nine inches, cotton topped, and the print is adorable. She's catching butterflies and she's swinging. It's just amazing. Then this seven inch moderate pad from Essence of Eve, just flannel topped. I love this. Love short pads, they're my favorite. Then two rump race pad. This one's cotton topped with um, mixed fleece. This one's just cotton topped with random, nice non fill fleece. And um, all right, Tyco. This one has Terry, this one has diaper cotton. This one's really thin, but they're both really, really comfortable. Then this 8 inch pad from hmm, Pretty Uko Intimates. Love this print. Like, how could you not just adore that? It's beautiful. And the stitching is flawless. Um, then this 9 inch pad from. Um, Mama Jules Jens. It's her suede cloth top. The suede is the softest I've ever felt. Fortunately, I leaked in the back. But it's, it's soft. Minky Top Chelsea B Creations. Um, nine inch. Oh, here's another Chelsea B Creations. That's uh, cotton topped. Uh, they're about the same length. This one's a round style and a square style. Super soft minky. I don't think I've ever felt any minky softer than this. And this print is absolutely adorable. So, love both these pads. Especially the minky one. And it's not that hot. Then. Eight and a half inch pad from Brin. They're narrow width. That one's really nice. And this is, I think, from the Little Blue Rat. I haven't worn this one. I need to wear that. Flannel topped, peel backed, 
uh, modern kind of things. Like a seven inch, something like that, seven inches. They're really cute. I just, um, the name is slipping. Um, then the Swings of Love pad. Did I review on this? I love this print. It's a very good. Then this other sleeping dough pad. It's a moderate. Uh, this one isn't windproof fleece, but it's top quality fleece. But it feels just like Wimpro, so I was going to say it's Wimpro. Maybe it's not, but it's amazing, please. And amazing. It's so beautiful. It's their squared wing style. In love with their pads. If you want to buy me something, get me sleeping down. <laughs> or novel red. Cloth cycle. You know, there's so many different them. The, oh, Femme Rouge. I love Femme Rouge. This is Femme Rouge. <laughs> um, I really want her new print. It's like this. Rainbow sky. It's so beautiful. <sighs> Anyways, this is a nine inch moderate pack from her and she does a really cool like teardrop pour. Love that. Okay, so for heavies, I don't have any heavies because I'm not a heavy bleeder and I don't have any night pads because I don't bleed at night and all I need is a menstrual cup and possibly a panel liner if I'm feeling leaky. Usually I don't even bother with one. So first edition period of tie pads. Uh, way too narrow but you know it's, it's nice to have. For days where I don't want something bulky. It's not too narrow really, it's just too narrow to sell. Most people are not this skinny. And then this very thick heavy pad from Eco Femme. I bought them part of thick. That's thick. That's a thick pad, guys. Um, I don't need this pad. That's for sure. But um, I will have the boys to try it out. So I'm going to wear it for like the entire day. It might just might just get a little full. <laughs> and then this um, Lazy Creek Petite Cotton Topped uh, Winter Fleece Backed um, Heavy Pad, of course, and it has hemp fleece. And the blue, I didn't stain too much. There's, I don't think I did actually stain. I think it's just the actual fabric. Um, so this actually stayed pretty stain free. Held a lot. Because um, actually, I actually bled on this, believe it or not. Blood! I actually bled. Some pairs I'm just like, can I actually bleed this time? Please? Like, I can actually try a pad out. Sometimes I have a period and it's like no blood. It's just <sighs> the, the struggles of having a light period when you have to review pads. It's, it's difficult, guys. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm so lucky. I really am. Okay, and then this like 10 and a half inch or 11 inch. I think more it's like 11 inch. It's a rough race pad. Like this topper style. Really cool. And the nice leaks on the back. It's not. Okay, this is from Rough Ray's Kara, like some of the other ones I had. I love this pad. Two pieces. Like, it's amazing. It's a perfect shape for me. It has the right amount of front coverage, perfect back coverage, and this fits me so well. But I stopped bleeding at night. I used to bleed at night. And then, like, the cycle before I got these, I was bleeding at night, bleeding at night. The cycle after I got these, I didn't bleed at night. And I haven't since then. So, I mean, I've worn this just during the day, but, you know, during the day, this is a little long. It's like 12 or 13 inches. And, you know, I'm just, I don't need this, and it really makes me angry. Not really. But it's just kind of frustrating. Um, but I really love this hat. You can order from her um, through her YouTube, um, and she has her gym. I think it's rubbraves at gym.com. You can order from her. Um, and then my menstrual cups. I have six. I had seven. I gave one to Bryn because I couldn't get it in. So, yeah. That was love everybody that. I have the Ruby Cup. That's a one size cup. The Organic Cup, which is the small size. The La Luna Cup, which is size one. And when I say size one, it isn't a, like one only size. It's just the smaller size. All these are small size, really. So, this is the small Yuki Cup, uh, soft resistance. The size zero natural cup, which I'll do a review on soon, which still needs to be clean big time. Uh, very interesting cup, but I like it. And then my extra, not extra small, my small, soft, classic stem Melina cup that I cut this summer. Um, and then I have two cloth tampons from some of the, some of that, but I haven't tried out yet. I really should, but the thing is, I don't bleed a, a lot. Um, I did last period, actually, I bled quite a bit last period. Um, but the thing is, I don't want to wear it for too long, because, you know, I don't want to get TSS, and, um, to get it full, so I'm a little worried about wearing these, because I have been tampon-free my entire life, 
and I don't know, I don't know. Um, I should review on them, but I may just do a review on them, but not of my actual experience. So comment down below, tell me what you think I should do. I mean, are these things safe? I have one that's like a pre-made one, and one that I have to roll. Um, so, yeah. I like this one, it's really pretty. Anyways, uh, yeah. I do want to try them, but I don't. You know what I mean? If I want to try them for her, but she's, you know, not that well known on, you know, the reusables kind of world. Uh, anyways, so tell me what you think I should do. I hope you enjoyed this pop fad stash and I'm still up to end Club Tampons. If you'd like to see a wet bag stash or accessory stash, let me know I can do that, but it's getting really late and um what time is it? Yeah, it's time thirty two. So I wanna go to bed so I can be up and not have to sleep in. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll try and edit this right now and upload it as soon as possible can. Maybe I'll upload it overnight. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Leave your comments down below if you have any questions, um, any reviews you'd like to see on these. I have a lot of reviews that need to come up. Um, a lot of them I have to wait for Bryn because we got two pads from each brand. So that may take a little longer, but I have some pads that I can do reviews on now, which I will do. So thanks for watching. If you like the new lighting, tell me. I mean, I won't be doing videos at night. All the time, just what I do, you'll have better lady. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have a fabulous day, evening, night, or morning.